What's going on, everybody? EA Sports has just released a way for you to earn gauntlet trophies so much faster. If you don't know what gauntlet trophies are, I've made videos about it already, which uh, displayed um, how to um, utilize it as well as how to um, gain them from solos. So right now, this is what's available. These are the cards that are currently available for you to use gauntlet trophies on. Okay, I haven't used mine. I have three of them, but I haven't used mine because uh, I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to see what else they put out and try to get a much better player than the ones that are readily available right now. But now you have a new series, Gauntlet Extreme. It's like really, really wild. I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, really quickly how we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so here it goes right here. The Gauntlet at least, uh, Unleashed. You should find this within the category of your solos. All right? Pretty much you can read the bottom and see what, it's, what it is right there. You're going to play through a seven-game season available Monday through Thursday, and then you unlock championship events on the weekend, and it resets every Monday. So this is just another way for you to gain more of these trophies and better rewards as the week goes on. Now, every one of them has a specific type of requirement, okay? This theme, uh, weekly theme right now, is the NFC East. Uh, this is the open qualifier. These are the things you have to do to unlock the other ones, okay? For each one, it'll tell you what needs to be done. If it's locked, it's a reason for that, okay? So this one is just, um, you know, prop. this one is for uh, Monday through Thursday. This is for another one for probably, I guess it would have to be next week, or maybe it could even be something that you can actually put in the proper, um, you know, the proper uh, cards and things like that into your uh, lineup to unlock. I'll let you know after I get it started. But pretty much right here, these are the ones that are open. And um, once you complete these things, you start to get, you know, better better rewards and then you ultimately get more of the trophies that can be used to get those other players that I just showed you. Obviously, more players are going to be unlocked as the year goes on, so you don't really have to worry about that. Um, but it's going to be just another way for the guys that play solos and the guys that grind it out to get more of, you know, more of the things that other people are getting through purchasing packs. And it also gives EA Sports another way to reward guys uh, in the past that have done the solos, that have done Mutt Master and other things like that to feel like they are still doing things for us. So pretty much you, you're going to want to get that done as soon as possible to make sure that you can unlock the other events for, um, you know, the, the weekend and try to get more gauntlet trophies. And don't forget to do your 20 days of goats where you're getting two baby goats a day and that can contribute to making your players a lot better. Before I before I let you guys go, I'm going to just show you what I've been doing as far as the GOAT that I'm choosing to upgrade. That GOAT is going to be Randy Moss. I told you before that I wanted to get other cards, probably a Bo Jackson and stuff like that, but Randy Moss is probably where I'm going to set my sights on. So right now, looking at it, we have the uh, the current... What do we have right now? We have the 85 overall Randy uh, uh, Randy Moss with the 88 speed. We're trying to get that 90 overall. So whether I decide to buy the packs or I do the solos, I'll let you guys know. But I don't know if I want to buy those packs and risk it. And for the people that were asking about the packs that are needed to get the baby goats, which you can put into sets, it's right here. You're going to click on the more pack section. And then you're going to click over using the right, uh, the, the, the right uh, whatever they call it. It's, not, it's, the, it's the right trigger. Um, you're going to move over to um, to players. And then you're going to look over here. You're going to see the go the GOAT gold pack. And it's four fifty dollars a pack. And pretty much, it's $4.50 a pack. And it's one. It's it's anywhere between one and three. So sometimes you won't even get, you know, at least two. It's anywhere from one to three. So if you wanted to take your, um, your chances doing that, if you wanted to upgrade your baby GOATs a lot faster, you can do it that way. They also have other packs that can help you get NFC uh, East players. You can always just buy the players on the auction house. But again, if you want to take your chances with packs, if you have good pack luck, you can upgrade your baby goat. You could do these themes because you're going to need to do it for gauntlet. So that's another, that's just the things that I've been going through right now. We're up right now, mutt level max at 83. Um, the current team is looking like this. We got the Doritos Calvin Johnson. All you got to do is go to Target, get Doritos, and, and it'll be right in the front of it. I think it's the nacho cheese version. That's the one that I got them on. Uh, Randy Moss is upgraded to 85. Tyreek Hill still there. LaDainian Tomlinson is at an 83. Devontae Adams, Journey Master. O-line we got to work on. Um, new addition on defense is only Jalen Ramsey. Um, well, actually, I don't know if you guys saw Jason Verrett. He was actually in the pack that we pulled. We got Don Terry Poe out there. Anthony Barr is still there. He's our user linebacker. Rodney Harrison. This guy we got from just completing the um, the Rodney Harrison objective list. Uh, I have a video about that, a, a video out about that as well. And Cyprian is still the starter at free safety. 
Um, looking over here, Tyreek Hill, Tyler, Ga uh, Taylor Gabriel are the kick returners. Kicker is uh, Zerline. Uh, punter is John Ryan, and uh, that's what we're looking like right now as far as our lineup goes. So if you're interested in getting those gauntlet players and understanding what's going on with it, definitely jump out and get it uh, because it's going to be worth it in the end to get those players because, yeah, they're going to release uh, players that are going to be in packs, but these cards are just, it, yo, all you got to do is play the solos to get them and to get uh, the actual trophies that are, that are needed to get these higher overall players. So the gauntlet is unleashed. Go ahead and jump into it. In addition... They also have uh, Mutt Champions, which is now available. Uh, pretty much, you're going to have to play a knockout tournament, um, which means that you're going to have to play play some games, win them all. Uh, and then after you win a certain amount of games, you'll be entered in the weekend event. So now, you see what I'm saying? Right here, you got seven attempts, and it's a knockout, it's a knockout tournament. You adjust your lineup, okay? Um, pretty much whatever it is right there. You do it like that. However, it's the same lineup that you have for Mutt. These are the event details, okay? So it's a three-win knockout reward. You got It's a lot of different things that you can do um, to make sure that you're eligible to be, uh, you know, compete in the, in the weekend league. You can also play, I believe, qualify by, by going through a season in the regular head-to-head -head, um, seasons. So there's several ways you can do it. You can do it that way or you can do it this way. Whichever way you do it, um, they're going to require you to, to play a certain amount of games to qualify for the weekend league, all right? So that's a lot more things. I might have to go into that more in depth as far as the, um, you know, the, the, the Mutt weekend leagues and stuff like that. I'll definitely get to that if you want me to go more into it with Mutt champions. But this was pretty much primarily about getting those gauntlet trophies and unleashing the gauntlet. Hopefully this was informative to you about what's new in Mutt. I'll see you guys and girls later. Subscribe. One love.